Cardholder Information Security Program, or PCI. The MTX software suite has been certified, tested, and updated to be PCI compliant. The environment into which WinEPS and OpenEPS is installed has an impact on the safety and security of the cardholder information. As a result, failure to maintain a PCI compliant environment may result in fines, penalties, restrictions, and financial responsibility for misused cardholder information by the merchant. There are certain PCI data security standards. The first, build and maintain a secure network. Protect cardholder data at all times. Maintain a vulnerability management program. Implement strong access control measures. Regularly monitor and test all networks. Maintain an information security policy. Visa has a list of validated payment applications. This list is located at their website at usa.visa.com forward slash download forward slash merchants forward slash validated payment applications dot pdf. The MTX EPS software suite has been certified with Visa as of 817.0. This was done in January of 2006. Visa requires that all payment applications repeatedly do audits and certifications. Our most recent audit and certification was completed with the release of 821.0 back in May of 2007. All merchants will fall into one of the four merchant levels based on Visa transaction volume over a 12 month period. Merchant level number one. This is any merchant processing over six million transactions per year. Level number two is any merchant processing one million to six million transactions per year. The third level states that any merchant processing 20,000 to a million transactions per year. The fourth level denotes any merchant processing fewer than 20,000 transactions per year. Risk management and your local area network security. PCI data security standard and security audit procedures. This is referred to as your security policy. It is mandatory for PCI compliance that a comprehensive security policy be in place in a production environment per the PCI Data Security Standard. The PCI Data Security Standard Checklist. Building and maintaining a secure network. This means, do not use vendor supplied default for system passwords and or security parameters, as well as installing and maintaining a firewall configuration to protect cardholder data. Protecting cardholder data. This includes encrypting transmission of cardholder data across open or public networks, and protecting stored cardholder data. Maintain a vulnerability management program, including develop and maintain secure systems and applications to protect cardholder data. Use and regularly update antivirus software. Implement strong access control measures. This includes Assign a unique ID to each person with computer access, as well as restricting physical access to cardholder data. Regularly monitor and test networks. You must track and monitor all access to network resources and cardholder data, as, as well as regularly testing system security and processes. Maintaining information security policy. This just means that you maintain written procedures on security policy. Network access and security. The PCI standard requires the following password complexity for compliance. Passwords must be at least seven characters and must include both numeric and alphabetical characters. The password must be changed every 90 days and the new password must not be the same as the last four passwords. Below are the other PCI account requirements beyond uniqueness and password complexity. 
If an incorrect password is provided six times, the account must be locked out. Account lockout duration should be at least 30 minutes or until an administrator sets it. Sessions idle for more than 15 minutes should require re-entry of username and password to reactivate the session. Wireless Network Security When installing WinEPS into an environment that includes wireless networking, additional requirements must be met. If Wired Equivalency Protocol is used, or WEP, it must have at least a 104-bit encryption key and a 24-bit initialization value and must be used with WPA or WPA2, IPsec, VPN, SSL, or TLS. For wireless networks that transmit cardholder data, encryption must be used as follows. Wireless security requirements include that vendor supplied defaults, administrative username and password should be changed. Messages between WinEPS on the server and OpenEPS at each point of sale lane are encrypted. This encryption satisfies PCI requirements on cardholder data transmission across wired networks, but additional encryption and security is necessary for wireless networks. If WEP keys are changed manually, they must be rotated at least quarterly and whenever key personnel leave. Keys may be rotated automatically if the hardware supports this. Wireless connection points should be secured with appropriate use of firewalls. Firewall port filtering services should be placed between wireless access points and the payment processing environment with rules restricting access. Access points should restrict access to known authorized devices using MAC address filtering. Securing the WinEPS network environment. WinEPS uses a variety of ports to communicate with various components. OpenEPS on the point of sale lane, the payments hosts, and the redundancy service. WinEPS and its components should never be deployed onto systems with direct internet access. WinEPS software can be deployed on servers that reside behind firewalls with communication to the financial processor secured and allowed through the firewall. These firewalls must be configured to protect cardholder information contained with WinEPS by limiting the incoming and outgoing connections to only those which are required. PCI requirements state that it is necessary to use strong encryption technologies such as Secure Socket Layer or SSL point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, or PPTP, or Internet Protocol Security to secure communications over any public network such as the Internet. The recommended setup for Windows user account. 